Welcome back to the program. I'm Roby Brock, joined by Monty McNulty. She's the longtime executive director of the Arkansas Hospitality Association. Good to see you. Good to see you, Roby. And you are a big supporter of our uh, Arkansas Tourism ticker, which tracks everything that's happening in tourism and hospitality. Thank you for your longtime support of that. It has been a great resource for a lot of people in the industry to keep up economically with what's going on. Well, we'd love being a supporter because we love telling the story about how successful travel and tourism is in Arkansas. Well, you've been lucky because the numbers have been great for about a decade too. So let's hope that what goes up doesn't come down in this industry. So let me rattle off a couple of statistics for you here from the latest tourism ticker here. The 2% state tourism tax revenue is up 5.7% at the halfway mark of 2019. This is over previous record year, over record year, over record year, over record year. What is driving tourism to these levels? I think it's a combination of things. People are finding out about Arkansas. Our product is developing just every place, every corner of the state has some really exciting things. The Department of Parks and Tourism and the local advertising and promotion commissions are doing a great job. So it's all of those things. When you say that our product is improving, what, what, is, what is our product per se? There has been so much development and investment in hotels, in restaurants, in culinary expertise in uh, soon to be more casino mm -hmm. uh, development uh, and investment. When you, when you add up the investments that are being made by our industry in, in what product a new hotel in Jonesboro Convention Center Hotel, which will change the landscape there. I was just up there about a week ago and I, I've told several people that ASU campus is starting to develop a skyline now because of that uh, hotel and convention center that's right there. It really has transformed just the way it looks when you come mm -hmm. over the hill there um, at the football stadium. Hospitality tax collections, which I know you pay very close attention to. Mm -hmm. We track 17 cities in the tourism ticker. Interesting to me, at the halfway point of 2019, those 17 cities combined are up 4.7% from where they were a year ago at this time. And last year they broke the $50 million mark, which was a record. You surprised by that? No, we're blowing it away. <laughs> Where does that money go when it is collected at the local level? Say the city of Fayetteville collects their hospitality tax. What, where, where do they spend that money? That money is all designed to go back into advertising, promotion, anything that helps bring people into that community. So it is a development, um, it's a development opportunity for those cities. It goes back into marketing, goes back into advertising, goes back into maybe some investments. Investments, they can do things, you know, sports is a huge thing. Whatever that individual city thinks imp is important to them to spend to bring visitors is what they spend it on. And the better job that they do, the more visitation and the more you're going to see those numbers yeah. go up. Uh, definitely a return on investment on that. Jobs, another thing that we track in here. Jobs in the tourism and hospitality industry up 3.5% from where they were a year ago at this time. Where, where do you think the most gains are coming from? Are they from people that are entering into the workforce? Are they new businesses that are forming that have to have people at all levels? What, where, do you think, where do you see among your members growth in jobs? Well, I think it's a combination. <clears throat> we certainly have businesses that are, are so successful, they're needing more employees. But new businesses, which also means competition. It's, it's a tough competing world out there. <laughs> Get a couple of restaurants in the same area, mm -hmm. they're fighting for some yes. of the same uh, consumer dollars right there. I know a concern of yours uh, back in the legislative session was the minimum wage increase. Are you seeing that have any impact at this point in time? Um, it, certainly it does. I mean, it, it in rural areas, it, it's a really hard thing and, and you may see some really bad things, closures and that kind of thing. Um, also, you're going to see more people figuring out how not to hire people. So, 
you know, there's a, there's a downside yeah. to that. You think it's coming, and, uh, but it's not reflected so far, at least not in if you're looking at overall numbers there. No, they have to manage it. They have to either raise their prices or reduce their payroll. Right. Um, you mentioned casinos earlier. What do you expect to happen when the Pine Bluff Casino comes online? I think it's going to be a while before we see a casino in uh, Russellville or Pope County, but what do you what do you expect to happen? Well, if you look at uh, both Southland and Oakland, they have been great contributors to their city's economy, to jobs, and to the overall state economy. So I think it's just going to get better. Yeah, they're making some small investments there, like two hundred million, two hundred fifty million dollars, not jump change. That's so. what I mean. Add up the investment that's going on in mm -hmm. travel and tourism. And we are such a surprise for visitors. Uh, they just can't believe it. You know, we just had a thousand people come in this past weekend for uh, the, a lottery. They came from all over the country and they couldn't believe what we had here in Arkansas. Yeah. And that's what we hear. Last question for you. You got a conference coming up this, uh, this coming week here and tell me a little bit about what's going on and how people can plug in. Our 75th anniversary oh, congratulations. vendor showcase. Thank yeah. you. I haven't been there all <laughs> 75 years. <laughs> we are going to have every, all kinds of entertainment on the showroom floor, demonstrations, Iron Chef competition, bartending competition. It's a fun atmosphere, great place to do business. Uh, Parks and Tourism is going to have a re release their economic impact report at 11 o'clock. We have a culinary competition the night before, great food. Um, anyone that wants to come, our members are the ones that primarily take advantage of this. Yeah. But, but if you think about getting into the hospitality industry, you got a great place to learn what you might need to think about in terms of getting in. This is Tuesday night and Wednesday. This is Tuesday State night and all Center day Wednesday. Yep. Yes. Will there, will there be any samples of any food over there? I think really there'll be I'm, a little bit. Okay. <laughs> it's not it's not a food show, but you will have some snacks here and there. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Montine, thank you so much. Appreciate you, Montine. Thank McNulty you always with thank the you. Arkansas Hospitality Association. We'll be back with more right after this word from our sponsors.